How's it going YouTube? Gozi here, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, as promised, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to wire up your AEM Y-Band X-Series 0300 Yu-Gi-Oh! How to wire that up in order to show your a few ratio on your HP Tuners PID utilizing your MPVI2 Pro Link. And we will jump right into it after this short intro video. Just like the CAN bus interface for your AFU ratio, the MPVI2 Pro Link lets you see your AFU ratio on your HP Tuner's PID, and that, that is very important if you are data login or tuning the car, especially if you're doing a remote tune, because that'll allow your tuner to see what the AFU ratio is doing and give them the proper tools to better uh, dial that car in. I have no history with the CAN bus system, but from reading about it and watching the videos, I would say definitely the Pro Link gives you an easier way of getting your FU ratio to show up on your HP tuners. Here's my MPVI2 Pro. It came with the cable for the laptop and the Pro Link. And it came in this nice little box and I got it with two credits to, to start off with. I have flashed my car and my brother's car. So you obviously you have to buy more credits as you go along and flash more and more ECUs. At the back of your AEM X Series 0300 Yu-Gi-Oh! You're gonna have two ports. One of it goes to the O2 sensors, O2 sensor bolted onto the exhaust, and then the other one is going to be for your power supply and the supply for your external readings. Red's going to be your power supply, and the black's going to be your ground. And then you have these additional cables coming from from the gauge, uh, the blue, white, brown. On the Corvettes, we have power supplies that stay on even while the car is off. So you want to make sure that you're tapping into a power supply that shuts off. When the car was off, my brother did it. The, uh, he took the easy way out and just used the common switch. That way, he just switches it off when the car is parked. But you just can't forget to turn that off, or you might drain, you might drain your battery. The cables we are going to be utilizing coming from your Y band is going to be the power, the ground, the white, and the brown cable. Your brown cable coming from the Y band is going to attach to the black cable coming from the Pro Link. And then you're going to take both of those and attach it and ground them to the black from your power supply. So what he did was he just stripped a small section of the ground cable. And then you're going to just attach these two to that black. Just like so. You have the brown coming from the Y band and the black coming from the Pro Link. And you're going to ground them both to that black cable. If you feel the need to pause the video to really look at it, you can go ahead and do so. The next step would be to take the white coming from your white band, the white cable from the white band, and attach it to the blue cable coming from the Pro Link. And obviously, don't forget to tape it up when you're done connecting those wires. All right, let's get a cold start going so we can heat up those O2 sensors before we can do a uh, operational check on the way that we wired up our system. You have it guys so pre-op check was a success now we're ready to go out there and start data logging thanks for watching see you guys in the next video